Okay, so number 48. 48 is a little bit off because of the fact that this right here is backwards and the Y should be up here. So it's like a reflection across the X. It's flipped. That's why this P should actually be a B and this looks like um, an upside down A. So if I were to draw this graph correctly, it just didn't copy over correctly, I would have the following graph. Okay, so here's B, the X axis, here's the Y axis up top, and then here's A back here. And if I draw drew it correctly, this would come something like way up here and cross, and then it would go below and then go back up towards. So it looks something like that. Okay, so looking at this, it says the graph of F is shown in the figure. So this is F of X up here. And which of the following could be the graph of its derivative? So looking at this and trying to find the derivative, I know that this is a horizontal tangent, so its derivative value is 0. And then it goes from a little positive to more and more and more positive to the most positive here as far as the steepness of the derivative. So I'm going to go a little positive, so a little bit of a y value, and then more and more and more to here. And then it's going to go less and less and less positive as far as that slope of the tangent, approaching zero. So this um, point of inflection becomes that relative max of the following derivative. All right, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to see that um, it's a little bit negative, and then it's more and more negative as far as the steepness. And its most negative will occur somewhere around here. okay? And then it goes less and less and less negative, approaching a horizontal tangent. So it goes back up to that y-axis. So the graph that we have looks like the one that is mistakenly backwards as far as on our choices. E is the answer.